had some pieces of live edge and I decided to do some live edge art. Shown here is the live edge. I'm using Logic Trace 2018 and I've selected Tracing Polylines. I trace out each part separately and close up that section. This is the full size paper print I use. It's about 18 inches square. And this is what I'll be tracing out to make my image. Next, I'll be tracing out the stripe that's on the horse's side. I want to cut that stripe out of a different piece of wood, something quite bright, because the horse is going to be black walnut. I'm looking for a contrast between the black walnut and the stripe, so the stripe will really show up. Now I'm going to trace out the printed copy of the sun, but I think I'll skip out the uh, eyes and the face there. I don't think I need that. And this sun will be cut out of birch because I want it to be quite bright. I'm also looking for that contrast between the bright sun and the frame of the live edge. interesting point here I use the circle command to do the center of the Sun. Now I will load the two created files into Vectric Aspire 10.5, check the vectors over, do a layout and save the two files as DXF for the CO2 laser cut. Here I've got the horse DXF file loaded into the laser and I've started my cut. This is the black walnut cut. I'm going to take those cut parts and do a layout on the live edge. I'm also going to start to lay out the paper template on top of the live edge to draw up and digitize that section so I can cut it with the CNC machine. Because of the thickness of the live edge, I had to fasten it from underneath using a three quarter piece of plywood and then fasten the plywood to the slave table of the CNC. The cut was smooth and steady. Each pass was about 3 16 to a quarter inch. Once I was complete, I did one more mock-up. Then I was ready to start the gluing. It's finished. I liked the look. It was nice to use the live edge as a frame.